Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today I'm bringing you the Lego EV3 Mousetrap. Man, this thing is cool. If you want to see this, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino. Uh, before we get to the video, I just want to say thank you. Last week I did a video where um, I was asking for you guys, or I was telling you about the Lego Mindstorms Inventor Kit, how I'm trying to get Lego to donate one to me, and the response was overwhelming from you guys and it was just so cool to read your emails for those of you that sent me the email that you sent Alice you know trying to convince her to or her and Lego to give me one of those inventor kits you know to be able to show you guys but it was just awesome to read through your emails and all the wonderful and kind things you guys said about me to try to get convince her and Lego and the Mindstorm teams to give me a kit it was just something I hadn't expected. You know, I just thought you might email her something, but you know, some of you emailed me what you had sent to her. And it was just one of those things where I read it like, wow, I got just the, you know, the most amazing viewers. So I wanted to thank you guys for sharing me the messages that you sent to her. And no, I haven't received anything back yet, but I will definitely keep you guys in the loop whether I get the inventor kit or not, because I really wanted to be able to share it with you guys and show you guys everything that it can do. Because I know some of you might be thinking about buying that, and I definitely you know, would love to be able to explore the kit, find out, you know, how does this thing rank with Spike Prime or EV3? So I will definitely keep you guys updated, okay? Back to the video. Okay, I wanna thank Building Block Studio. Thank you so much for the instructions. The program, this is an awesome EV3 robot. Uh, every mouse should be scared of this thing. And this robot's really cool because it mimics those old fashioned mouse traps. Man, these mice should be super scared. <coughs> so today I wanna show you this robot. I wanna show you the build. I wanna show you the sensors that are involved and show you what a mouse is gonna go through if it wants to get that cheese. So let's first go ahead and take a look at the robot. Okay, everybody, so here is the Lego EV3 mousetrap. Let me go ahead and tell you everything about it and we'll actually get a chance to demonstrate it here. So it's working off of one large motor right there and you'd be surprised how much power that one large motor can generate. And then we're working off of two sensors here. So we have this touch sensor here so that if the mouse um, comes over here and puts any kind of pressure, you can see how this is kind of like a teeter-totter right here. So if it puts any pressure here, it will lift this side and touch the touch sensor, which, according to the program, will activate the motor to snap over the mouse trap. And if that doesn't get the mouse, then we also have this ultrasonic sensor here, so that if it sees the mouse coming either way, it will activate the mouse trap to snap it also. So mice beware. Hello. So here is how this would look or how the story would go. So if I could take you into Mr. Hino's story time, here we go. So if we were inside of a house and the mouse in the house was getting hungry. I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. And was having dreams about cheese. I'm very, 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 very hungry and would see that there was cheese in this mouse trap, he would come on over and he would put pressure onto this pad to get the cheese and cause it to get snapped. <coughs> and if the touch sensor didn't get him, the ultrasonic sensor would also be able to pick up the mouse coming either from this side or this side. So if it didn't get caught this way, it could come over here and get caught. <coughs> get caught that way. Woo. And I um, had gotten my hand caught. I was actually trying to move the cheese and this thing came down on my hand and I was like, oh my goodness, it was really hard to pull my hand out. 
So, hey, I'm not, you know, I'm not for animals getting hurt. But, you know, when, you know, when you, when you come to, to mice and rats, there could be issues with disease. There could be issues with safety. So this is just one of those, you know, robots that might help us out with a problem. So it's actually very cool for students to be able to test out the mousetrap and see if they could get the cheese. So one of the challenges is try to press down on this and take the cheese without getting snapped. Woo! Let me turn around this way. Trying to get the cheese coming from this way here. Ooh. Try not to get detected here. Ooh, okay. So you probably might want to lower this ultrasonic sensor because it looks like the mouse could come this way and grab it. Oh, I guess it might help if I had the program running. Okay, so let's put this cheese back on there and let's see if I can grab it. Oh, wow, that thing scared me. So this mouse trap is just run by this one large motor here and it causes a lot of power coming out of this you know for this mouse trap to swing over pretty fast so let's go ahead and watch this in action so that's a lot of power okay guys so whoo the ev3 mouse trap that thing is an amazing build um really scary out there all of you mice you should be scared so I want to thank Building Block Studio again. Um, again, check the description for the video that has the building instructions and the program. My program was just altered to just be a little bit more simplified, but definitely check out their program for it too. And it was just a really cool build. And it's just another example of how, you know, Lego EV3 here can take just something that, you know, can be just as simple as a mouse trap and apply, you know, robotics to it. So that's kind of what we're doing in robotics, just seeing how many, you know, real world things that we can take a look at and go, we can build a robot to, you know, either mimic it or improve it or just, you know, just look something like it and just have a lot of fun with it. So again, I'm, you know, Mr. Hino's sensitive to all animals, but you know, sometimes, you know, mice or rats or other things can spread disease, just cause problems, bite through wiring that could, you know, just cause danger for everybody so it's just one of those things where we're living life and you know sometimes you just got to do what you got to do if there was a more humane way i don't know you guys can tell me but anyway that's just a video and robot for today hopefully you liked it okay guys i am mr hino with miss hino's lego robotics i'm out he's out he's out we got this we got this we got this guys Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.